everybody, it's Diana here. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am because I am waiting, hopefully, for us to finally get some snow. I mean, it's just the D.C. area. You know, they say that we're going to get a lot of snow and then we get nothing. And then when they're like, eh, nothing's going to happen, we end up with two feet of snow. So I have no idea what we're going to get, but um, I'm looking forward to it. And I have with me today Buttercup. Butters is keeping me company while I work. So one of the things that I've been trying to do is I've been trying to take more time during the day for breaks. And one of the best way to do that is to have a dog that needs to go out on a regular basis. But instead of just letting her out, what we've been doing is we've been going for walks around the block. Um, the break does me a lot of good. It gives me a, a chance for my brain to focus on something else. She loves it because, you know, we get to, to go and see new sights and smell new things. But um, I, was I was in a time management class just earlier this week. And one of the things that it was saying is that, you know, you have to make sure that you're taking these breaks because your productivity drops. And I know I've talked about this before. And I talk about this in terms of telling people what to do. But, you know, the old saying, the cobbler's children have no shoes. So... January is one of our biggest months because it's the end of the uh, calendar year. It's the end of the calendar quarter. So we have a lot of things that are due all at the same time. And I get real wrapped up in, in making sure these, these, these deliverables get done. And many times I have something that's very important that has a deadline that's competing against an emergency that came in that has a deadline. So I've been talking to people like, how do you deal with things like that? And truthfully, Sometimes those are the days that you have to work longer and harder. I mean, there's no putting it off when it, you know, one thing may cause a, a financial penalty versus the other might, might cause some serious issues with a customer or an employee. So, you know, those are the days that you sometimes just have to uh, suck it up. Buttercup. Get it? Buttercup. But, you know... On the days that you can manage, on the days that you can say, you know what, this is not so important, I can push it off to tomorrow, sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes your your brain needs a real break. So, um, so my advice to you, especially if you're a business owner, is when, when things like that happen, take a real good hard look at, do I absolutely have to do this today? Can it wait till tomorrow? Can it wait till the day after? Or do I have to just kind of get into uh, beast mode? You see where I'm going with this? And, you know, get everything done. So what do you guys do when you have, have days with competing deadlines? Or you had your day all mapped out perfectly with everything that you needed to get done and everything you had to get done, and then somebody throws a wrench in it. Love to hear from you. Drop me a line in the comments, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.